share our experiences in Crystal Cave and how we also prepared for it. Um, even though you are physically active or not, you still have to prepare for such activity. And I hope you enjoy this. This would be a combination of photos and videos of three experiences that I did with Crystal Cave. Crystal Cave is one of the four caves I have visited in Sagada. First is the Sumaging Cave. The second one would be the cave connection between Lumiang and Sumaging Caves. And the number three on the list of the most visited cave would be the Crystal Cave. Third is it's the most extreme spelunking cave. And the last one, it's also the most expensive cave to explore. It's very important that you know where you're going and what you'll be doing. It doesn't mean that it's trending that you'll be hopping on the bandwagon to do it. The first picture that you should have is the clean shot. Make sure that you get to see yourself at your cleanest because definitely when you get out, you will be dirty. Two weeks before the activity, make sure that you prepare yourself physically like running, jogging, exercising so that you would avoid some muscle pains and that you would also be flexible. Also, this is to increase your endurance. The entrance of Crystal Cave is near the Sumagin Cave entrance. If you have the fear of heights, small spaces, dead water, getting hurt, spirits, even monsters, that's fine. Because I feel that if you have fear, you will be more cautious as long as it's just 20%. And the rest, 80% would be determination to finish the activity regardless of whatever fear that you have. The start of the activity is getting down inside a very small space. After that is repelling. I had several experiences already with repelling, so I just had little difficulties with it. But if it is your first time, that's fine. Don't fear because the guides are trained to assist you and guide you. And they're very patient, promise. Okay, good. Tip, try not to be stiff so that you'll enjoy your repelling experience and have that great shot. Here you'll see a shot from below where the guides are patiently assisting the person. So don't be in a hurry and make sure that you are at your most comfortable pacing. The most important tip that I could give you when you're doing spelunking is that you give 101% trust to your guide because they know better and open your mind and your heart and your ears and obey and follow their instructions accordingly because they only think about your safety please do not be pasaway Wear the right clothes. Consider the following. It's cold inside the cave and you'll get wet and muddy. I suggest that you wear dry fit clothes because it's easier to wash after. And if it, even if it gets wet, it's not going to be that heavy. Wear colorful clothes because it's nice on pictures and it's also easier for guides to see when you're inside the cave. When you're inside the cave, you'll see a lot of stalactites and stalagmites. What are those? Well, it's up to the guides to tell you what it is. Don't expect that the cave is well lit. We brought our own lights so that we can document everything nicely. This is one of my favorites inside the cave, the flowstones. You can remove your slippers, your sandals, and walk around without having to fear that you're going to slip or fall because for some reason, it's just nice to walk around. At this area, there are many pools, but 
it depends on what month you will be visiting the cave because uh, like this one this was summer and we it was dry we didn't have any water but then we visited again in October and it was filled with water though we didn't dare to go inside the water because we know it's dirty and but it justifies the beauty um, with the water on it because it, it it has that mini pool concept this was taken on a summer so it's less water but I think it's more fun with more water in it. Watch this next video. The next video that I'll be showing just to find the reason why the guide fee in Crystal Cave is a little bit expensive. The guides use their body to the point that even their heads are being stepped on accidentally by the guest. <laughs> it's not all squeezing inside the holes or rappelling up and down but we get to walk on flat surface too crystal cave took us a maximum of four hours with all the groups that i've been with it really depends on the pacing of your companions now i don't know if that's a good time but what i know for sure is that we all had a good time The stalactites and the stalagmites are for picture purposes only. Please do not touch them. There are a lot of small holes that you'll encounter, but don't worry because you don't need to have a tiny or small frame, but you need to have a flexible body that you can move from left to right and squeeze your way out. Now, this is the dreaded snake hole. It's really tiny and all you have to do is dance your way out. Now, I have to show you this picture of the guy just so to tell you that it's not me that's a big one to make it a small hole. <laughs> Your flexibility will come in hand when it comes to crossing in some areas so you don't have to get wet. But when it was our first time, we went into the water and it was freezing cold. There are areas that you don't have any choice but to swim. Uh, don't worry, there are also ropes provided. It's not that deep. Don't worry, she's our little girl, but I really don't know what's underneath the mud. Towards going to the last part of the cave, it gets chocolatey. Well, chocolatey because it's all mud. It's not because you get dirty, but because walking along the mud gives you takes away the energy out of you because you have to sometimes pull your leg out of the mud and it's very tiring and when you have to go up and down it's very slippery extra effort and energy is needed for you to even walk or even finish a task to climb up and down <laughs> Exit point of Crystal Cave is inside Sumagin Cave. As we were exiting Sumagin Cave, the startled faces of tourists who are about to do spelunking or finished spelunking in Sumagin Cave are shocked to see us how dirty we were and they thought that Sumagin Cave is the hardest. This is one dirty experience, but I've never been so proud of being dirty.
after this crystal cave activity. Here's a before and after picture of our spelunking. I remember we were so dirty, they made us walk home, take a jeepney and do a top load and the last one was a big truck picked us up. Can you just imagine how cold it was when we were there? Cold and slippery actually. I am most thankful to our Sagas guides for having the patience in assisting us and making it a memorable experience for each one of us. This is Kuya Sotero Ngaloban. He's one of my trusted guides. I'm not sure if he's still guiding. If you want to have this kind of crystal cave experience or a Sagada extreme experience or even a regular Sagada tour, van rental, you may contact this guide. His name is Gareth. While well, I showed you the worst Ichura of him so that when you see him, you'll be amazed how he looks like Jackie Chan. Thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Ciao!